This is MathGuide.com. Uh, my name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at piecewise functions. Start off with just a beginner level problem. This piecewise function has three pieces. The reason why I know it has three pieces is because there's a top part, a middle part, and a bottom part. Uh, the, you know, the function is defined using conditional statements, which are domain values. And then there's y values over here, which are the range values. So they correspond. This, this domain goes with that range, and so on. Okay. Uh, the way the function works, if you remember from function notation, is that f of x just stands for y. So this is y equals negative 2, y equals 3, y equals 4. Except we're going to graph those lines according to the conditional statements. All right, so starting off with the first one, uh, I want you to notice that here I have x and I've got a 1, right? So at x equals 1, imagine a dashed line right here. So I'm going to try to make this very light uh, dashed line so it doesn't interfere with the actual picture. There's another one here at 3. Okay, so I'm going to draw another one right here. And I think by having these two here, make it a little bit clearer how we graph this. All right, so everything left of 1, okay, so here's x. Right, that one right there is going to be x equals 1. x equals 1. This is x equals 3. Uh, all right, so everything left of x equals 1, I'm going to graph the line y equals negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to go over there. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, okay, let's see, y equals negative 2. Try to do this as neatly as possible. All right, well, it's the best I could do by hand. All right, so I've got that graphed. I've got everything left there. I got a little sloppy, went a little too far right, but uh, that's how it looks. It's going all the way over here. I should put actually an arrow. So I've got that horizontal line. Now, there is no equal sign here. So I'm going to put an open circle. There actually should be an open circle right there. All right, that means the first part is done. So I've graphed that first part in red. All right, next, what we're going to do is graph the next part. I'm going to graph the next part in blue. So this one right here is going to be in blue. I should put it in blue so we can actually see it. And now I'm going to graph that, which is y equals 3, between 1 and 3. Okay, so y equals 3, right over here. Graph it right there. So it's another horizontal line between 1 and 3. That's what it says, between 1 and 3. I graph it. Now here I have an equal sign on 1, so that means I put a closed circle. I don't have an equal sign here at 3, so I leave an open circle. A little big and bulky, but it's there. All right, now the next one. The next one I'm going to do in green. I've seen I want to keep consistent with the uh, uh, website. All right, so I'm going to do this one in green. Okay, so this one actually is in green. I'll have to put it over here so you can see that in green. All right, so in green, we're going to go everything right of 3 is going to be at level 4. So in other words, here at y equals 4, but I'm only going to graph everything right, okay, all to the right. So I'm going to put a little arrow there. So everything to the right over there. And uh, also I have an equal sign, so that means I put a solid circle. I put a solid circle right there. All right, so I have my curve drawn. It's actually not very curvy at all. Um, but you can see that there are three sections to the curve. And there are three lines. y equals negative 2, y equals 3, y equals 4. And they go in different levels, and they look like that. All right, we're going to put a couple more videos about uh, intermediate level problem and an advanced. So stay tuned for those also. All right, uh, make sure you go to mathguide.com. Check out our lessons, interactive quizzes, and other videos. Take care.